วัสดีค่ะหนูชื่อเทเรซ่าเวนเตมายนะคะมาอยู่ที่ประเทศไทย8ปีแล้วค่ะเพื่อเป็นนักมวยอาชีพค่ะปัจจุบันนี้อยู่ที่ภูเก็ตและซอมวยที่ค่ายมวย AKA ไทยแลนด์นะคะต่อยมวยมา69ครั้งแล้วค่ะเป็นแชมป์โลกสภามวยไทยโลกในพิกัด118ปอนด์นะคะแล้วก็ได้อันดับ3ในทัวร์นาเมนต์16คนสุดสวยมวยไทยโลกปี2013นะคะ I came across by coincidence uh, a magazine, and there was an article about a Swedish girl who had trained Muay Thai in Thailand in a camp, and uh, it really caught my attention, and I really wanted to try it. It sounded interesting, and yeah, that was the beginning. I guess the life I had in Sweden was comfortable, um, but I didn't really have a purpose. I didn't know what to do with my life, and this whole thing with Muay Thai and fighting it kind of filled a void and gave me some sort of purpose. I don't really know how to describe it. I can't say that my life was lacking anything because it makes it sound like my life was miserable. It wasn't. I was happy, but it was like I had found a passion. It was like I had met the love of my life. That's the only way I can describe it. It, it's the one thing that has ever happened to me that has like really changed my life. I, I knew straight away this is what I wanted to do. And yeah, that's an amazing feeling. And I just, I didn't even think about it twice. I knew I had to pursue this. I first, first tried to set a goal as in a, a certain number of fights, but that didn't really work out. So now my new goal is to give it uh, 10 full years because I don't think that that has been done before by a foreign female to train and fight professionally full time for 10 full years in Thailand. I want to do something that nobody else has done. So I think maybe in the beginning my my family probably thought like oh what's she doing? They, they, they didn't say anything but I mean that's what I would have thought if I would, would have been them. But then after a couple of years when I started to actually like achieve things and I started to realize myself that I had actually made a career out of this. That's not what I had in mind when I first started. And like now, of course, they're, they're so proud of me. And yeah, I don't think that that's what they thought when I first started, but I'm sure that they are relieved that actually, you know, just I achieved something. I didn't just like mess around to perform my hobby for years. I was more aggressive when I first started, basically because I knew less. And as I became better and better and had more fight experience, I became more and more uh, careful. And to be honest, I, I get really nervous when I fight. And like pretty much every time I get to the stadium and I smell the oil, I almost feel sick. And I, feel, I, 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 I think for an instant that I just want to run away from there. And I, I know many, many other fellow fighters who feel the same actually. Maybe not a lot of people talk about it because you're supposed to be really tough. But this exists and I think it's important to like acknowledge that. Yeah, when the bell rings, yeah, you just do what... It, it comes automatic. This is when it all comes out that you're drilling every day. I think when I managed to do something in a fight that I couldn't do before and I feel like I have improved, yeah, I think that's my favorite part about it. Not just winning, but improving and getting better and learning something. And that's, that's what I love about Muay Thai in Thailand. There's always more to learn. The more you learn, the more there is to learn. It just never stops. The trainers here have so much experience. I, I will never be on their level, but I, I think that's amazing. Somebody asked me when I started here, what do you think of AKA? And I said, if AKA was a man, I'd marry him. 